Ki hai ki tāte tahi kai ketu ketu Māori, kaore i te eke ngā pātai e pātai ngi ana kia pūrangi a huai tātou ki te take e pākia ana ngā kaimahi i te ripa aukati e te mate karauna. Hei tā rāwuri taonui, he iti noa ngā tatauranga mate karauna i wāinga nui ngā uri Māori uri moutere hoki i te wā i kuhu tuatahi mai ai te mate karauna ki Aotearoa. He oi, kua huri te tai nai anei, a me kōrero pono. o te kāwanatanga. Kai te whanganui a tara a eru e rare re kura e tatari mai ana, eru e ai ki a ahorangi taonui nā te rua rua noi hō o ngā wāhi whakamātau tau mate karauna ki ngā hapuri i taka ware ai te kāwana ki te mau i te kāhui i pāngia e te mate karauna ki tāma ki makaurau. Kia ora orini i ai ki tana rangahau ko tana whakapai i wanganui i ngā marama o haratua me hongongoi i heke ngā whakamātau tau i te hapuri mai te kotahi rau mano, mai i te kotahi rau ono te kaumārima mano i haratua ki te ono te kaumārima mano i hongongoi. Hei tāna anō, ie tehi rā, hi ahua ono rau rima rau rā nei. E whāki ana te prīmia, i heke iho ngā whakamātautau i te hāpori. Over time, while we were COVID free, um, we saw a decline in people meant, um, going forward to our, our community testing stations and our GPs for testing. So that is something we will need to keep maintaining. We want that surveillance so that no one pays the price of resurgence, but we also want to get to the bottom of what has happened here so we can constantly improve our system. Hei tā rāwari taonui, mea wanga wanga, ngā hāpori Māori mau tere hoki kā tika. In the first wave, Māori and Pacific communities were tested at a very high rate. During July, um, that never happened. And there's a very real sense that looking at the numbers now with Māori Pacific, well over 80% of cases in the Auckland outbreak, um, that if there had been surveillance testing in July, we could have picked this cluster up a week or two earlier when maybe there were only 10 cases. Ko te whakapai a te apitihana, kwa hapa te kāwanatanga i tā rātou mahi whakamātautou. It's also really clear that when the government put a cabinet minute out on the 22nd of July requiring mandatory testing of frontline border staff, that should have been done months before. They took 104 days to do that. When Dr Ashley Bloomfield has been explaining the ramp up of testing at the border, he's used the word voluntary. Now those things are at a contradiction and that contradiction has lasted for too long. Mehe mea kua pāngia koe e te mate krauna, haere kia whakamātauria koe. Nō reira ko te tono a tākuta Ashley Bloomfield ko ngā tangata ana ke kua pāngia e ngā tohu o te mate krauna, ko rātou ana ke ngā mea e ahai ana ke a whakamātauria i roto i tāmaki makaurau. Orini. Kā pai tēnā koe i e ngā whakamārama e ruera rerekura e te iwi atu i te whanganui atara.